Hey guys, welcome to Wednesday Night Live. We're gonna have a paint mixing party. <coughs> I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone here. No killing so, birds. I'm gonna kill all the birds. Just the angry birds. Give me a second to get the video pulled up if anybody's already there. Please hold. Your call is very important to us. Exactly. Oh. The thumbnail didn't seem to load. Oh, oh well, okay. Yay! <laughs> Veronica, Danielle. Hi, guys. What's up? Oh my gosh. I kind of hate how this thing shows the live videos. Yeah. My new phone. Hold on. New phone. I wonder if there's like a way to adjust the settings or something. Yeah, maybe. New phone. Who did? All right, I'm going to adjust this just slightly. Sorry for the little shaky shake. <clears throat> okay. Oh, welcome, Shannon. Happy first time. So I desperately need to mix paint. Plus, of course, it is Wednesday. So I figured I would just mix paint with you guys. And then you can ask any questions that you need to ask. And I'll just show you how I mix paint generally. Plus, thank you, Ta. I got these new bottles on Amazon, which Ooh. I'm fairly excited about. And I think could help some of you that might have some difficulty with paint mixing. These are 16 ounce bottles and it has every ounce measured out. That's exciting. Yeah, I thought so. Um, plus it's just been a few years that I've been using the same bottles and they're kind of grody and yeah so time for some new bottles if I really like these yeah I'll make sure they get into my Amazon store one thing that I like about my normal bottles which I have yet to find in another bottle these I got from a, a local art store these are really thick they're not really squishy most of the ones I've noticed are pretty squishy, especially the ones you get from like the dollar store and stuff. They're kind of flimsy. These ones seem to be kind of in between these ones and like dollar store ones. So could be worse. Could be better. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. <laughs> right? I do not generally wash out my bottles in between mixing. I actually, I basically never do, so I'll just mix them and then I'll keep mixing the same colors into that bottle. Um, but one of the reasons I got new bottles is because I got a bad batch of Floetrol um, a few months ago, and it made my bottles smell like ASS. Um, but I haven't been able to get rid of that smell in those bottles yet, so... Um, unfortunately those bottles have to go. All right. I'm starting with Floetrol and I'm going to mix up white, which is what I most desperately need. So let's see here. We're doing 16 ounces. And if we do, <laughs> I never like measure, measure it. So this would be about eight ounces of Floetrol. So I'm going to start with eight ounces of Floetrol in here. Well, there's nothing to see yet, so don't worry. Nothing will be hidden from you. Oh, wait. There's more. <laughs> All I'm doing is pouring Floetrol in there. All right. And then I'm going to add the Artist Loft Flow Acrylics. Julie, Julie said she loves your music. Oh, thank you. I don't generally strain my Floetrol. It certainly could not hurt to do so, though. All right. I'm gonna hold something. No. Maybe I'm you're just Vanna White here. You're looking, saying, yeah. I know. So if I'm doing two thirds here, this would be two thirds. So you want to do four ounces if you're doing it by thirds, like two parts to three parts, or two parts to one part, to make three thirds. What? <laughs> <laughs> so you want two thirds slow trial, one third paint? Is that right? What would be three parts of 
gosh. So if you're doing, so if you got eight I ounces, can't math right if you have eight now. ounces of flow troll and that's supposed to be two parts and then you need one part of paint, you do four ounces of paint, that'll bring you to 12 ounces. Okay. That sounds good. And that's one part to two parts. Right. For a total well, because it needs parts. to be half of eight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why that hurt my head. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I can figure out. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. So I just filled that, well, a little bit above the 12 ounce line. So basically, four ounces of paint and eight ounces of flow troll. Going to put the cap on. Now, I always mix these together first the paint and the flow troll. Of course, this is white paint. <laughs> So it's not like you can see it as well, but just giving that a good, good, good mix. Here, you go ahead and mix that. Oh, thank you. You got a leak. Oh, great. I'm thinking the cat might be. Oh, there it is. All right. So I'm gonna start on another color here. <laughs> she can like a Polaroid picture. Let's do one of these tubes. So I also got this new um, metallic paint from Arteza which I have yet to try out and I'm really excited about. So excited. Exactly. Just can't hide it. I do not put marbles in my bottles. Someone actually asked me that like a week ago and it was the first time that it had ever even occurred to me. Like the help next? Time. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I went a little above the eight ounce line. That's okay. Oh my God. Need more cowbell. <laughs> yeah, right? Here, I'm gonna move the I'm gonna move the camera up just a little bit. One second. Swell. But before adding any water, I mix the paint and flow troll together very well. Let's move that up a little bit. Okay. And let me see about. I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit. Oh, did that work at all? You definitely moved up. Okay. I'm gonna stop standing where I am because I'm standing right in front of that that something. What? Yeah, it just looked weird. <laughs> okay. So I have the uh you know what? Let's do one of these. Let's do the uh bronze. Ooh, bronze. So this is the Arteza bronze. Shiny. Mm-hmm. So I'll put about four ounces of that as well. Let's see. Yeah, so I always, 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 always mix the paint and the flow troll together before adding any water because you never know. You never know how much water you're going to need to add. So these bottles are basically four ounce bottles. So it's basically this whole bottle. Yeah. Okay, I think that should be good. All right. Bronze. Go ahead and mix Mixing that. Tea. Yay. Now, one definite recommendation Ready? on uh, <laughs> on mixing paint is to pre-mix it. Like, I don't recommend using this right after you mix it, especially if you do it in the bottles. There's lots of air bubbles in there. So I generally pre-mix mine like the day before, just as a recommendation. Feel like you're coloring your hair all right so flegal said tip with the amazon bottles if they leak a small piece of plastic wrap before you twist the top will help in case the twist top isn't airtight oh. okay i think i get what you're saying they create a little gasket basically yeah smart hey judy i love our diy family yeah so brilliant y'all are um so nancy asked what would be a reasonably priced brand of paint for a beginner I mean, you could really use anything. I know people that use like Apple Barrel and, ooh, mm -hmm. so pretty. Um, all kinds of, you can use Craftsmart. I personally, I like the Artist Loft Flow Acrylics. These are massive bottles. So especially if you're going to be doing a lot of pours in the beginning, which you usually are, these big bottles, uh which is a one quart bottle these are ten dollars without any coupons so i use my coupons generally and get them for like six dollars or so and if you just get the red 
blue and yellow, white and black. That will take you so far. <laughs> uh, yeah, even though these are called flow acrylics, they're not like a fluid paint. I'll show you. So I'm going to just show you in a little cup here how thick this stuff is. This is the blue. So this is not at all a liquidy paint. You could not use that by itself for acrylic pouring. It's got to be mixed with something. But the good thing about it is that it mixes very easily and well. Okay. Uh, the Artist Loft Flow Acrylics from Michaels. Yeah. All right. What do a painting on top of a pour? Yes, you can. Am. Are you asking me to do so or if it's possible? What paint brushes do you recommend? Um, I think they're on my Amazon list, but I love, I personally love the My Artscape brushes. I think they're on my Amazon list. If not, I'll make sure to add them later. They're just really great. Uh, Gina said, do you ever use uh, plain resin as your background? No white? Yep. Yeah, you can. Um, Spray paint a background and then put clear over it. And that could be your background. Okay, I saw someone ask me earlier if I get chunks. Yes, I sometimes do, especially with older flow trawl. Um, but I generally just kind of pick them out of my painting, <laughs> to be honest. Because mm -hmm. I'm kind of lazy honesty. on the straining. <clears throat> honesty is the best policy. Um, Lisa says I use glue all as a cheap alternative to flow trawl. Uh, the flow trawl is actually cheaper, at least in the U.S. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you're aware of that, but the flow trawl is very cheap. It's about fourteen to fifteen dollars for a gallon, whereas the glue all is usually twenty bucks for a gallon. Where I've seen it, <laughs> so. Please repeat your mix ratios. So in these bottles, I am mixing eight ounces of Floetrol with four ounces of paint. So mix up some blue. So two parts Floetrol to one part paint. Right. <clears throat> but now that can also vary depending on the type of paint you're using, correct? Nope. No? Not this part. Oh, what cool. varies is the water. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm learning. mixer. I prefer Floetrol to the glue, personally. Okay, Lisa says if she's in Canada. Yeah, in Canada, the glue all might be cheaper. I'm not totally sure. Um, I do not use WD-40 to make bubbles. That's a good question, though. If you get the right consistency, you don't have to worry about that. All right, we'll just do a couple more colors, and then we'll go into the water aspect. So I'm going to do purple because we like purple. Oh, yeah, we do. Plus this. Oh, did you give me more flow trial, by the way? No, they were up. Oh, and you're well, actually, fired. I didn't even see. I'm fired. Lowe's is fired. <laughs> I don't stock okay. our shelves. I do have two more gallons over here. I even had them look. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's do metallic purple. That's so metal. Oh, excuse me. Gross. I know. Come on, purple parts are the worst parts. <laughs> or the best, I don't they're know. The best <laughs> Trust me, they're not grape scented. Yeah, I saw a question about uh, distilled water. So I have seen and heard that distilled water is best. However, I personally have used both and not noticed any difference. But I can imagine that if you have like hard water at your home, that the distilled would be better. But I use tap water all the time and haven't had any issues personally. Wow, this one's just really like Gassy. vocal. You must have eaten Italian tonight. <laughs> okay, this is the Artist Loft Metallic Purple. All right, that's pretty good. Okay. It'll do. It will do. I'm a daisy if you do. Yeah, shipping issues. I have heard about that, Christina. 
um, that some stores are running out of the flow trawl because of COVID. Blame COVID. everything on COVID. COVID. All right. How many colors of paints do I have? Six billion. Oh, that's what I have. That's... How many colors do I not have is a better question. <laughs> we ain't got the time of the day to count all those. Right? All right. So in terms of the water, let me actually grab some water. So I just take like a water bottle and I just refill it from my faucet. Floetrol is latex. Yeah. Oh, thanks. So it is latex based paint additive. All right. So for the water, so we have right now our paint and Floetrol is up to 12 ounces. I'm going to add just a couple ounces of water. I am familiar with this paint though. Of course, I can no longer see outside of the side. So I kind of know how much water to add. But if you are using a thinner paint, you will want to add less water and you just add it a little bit at a, at a time. Now, as you get used to it, you will be able to tell just by shaking the bottle if it has the right consistency. If you're not used to it, you might want to mix in a cup and pour it into a bottle. Um, because how much water you add is going to depend on the consistency of the paint. These are all fairly thick paints. So we're gonna add just a little bit at a time. And then what I like to do as a final test Okay. is I'll usually just take um, a cup or in this case I'll use one of my silicone bowls and I'll just pour a little bit out just to check the consistency and if it's a little bit off no biggie so let's go ahead um, the consistency we're going for it seems to all be food related so like warm honey or melted ice cream. So this blue is a good consistency. I actually only put a, about two, two to three ounces of water in there. So that's good. Yeah. And now I'm gonna pour all of them into this bowl and then I'll have a bowl of paint. What? <laughs> yeah. Not a bowl of candy? Yep. Artistic candy. But we are pre-mixing this paint, especially the white. I actually haven't had too much issues with other colors that I've pre that I've like mixing it and then using it right away. But the white, I've noticed that if you mix it and then use it right away, it tends to have pinholes. That's just been my personal observation. Nobody likes that. I know, right? So rude. So like I said, after you've been mixing for quite a while, you'll be able to tell just by shaking the bottle if it has the right consistency. Also, there is a, I've been trying to think of the word for forever, really like time. a margin. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Like a margin of correct consistency. So it's not one exact correct consistency. It's like in between here and here, it will work. Like a spectrum or a range. Right, a range. If you get too thick or too thin, like outside of that range, it no longer works. I think you're probably good. Okay, so let's just test these real quick. Yeah, he's my shaker. That looks good. Oh, hey now. That looks beautiful. And let's test the purple. That looks good. Okay. So actually, let's go ahead and we'll just do a painting with this real quick, just so you'll see the effects of mixing and then immediately painting. Demo. But yeah, if you are newer to mixing or if you're unsure if you're mixing, I recommend probably starting mixing in a cup and then pour it into the bottle. All right. So 
So you can kind of see, maybe I'll come around. Okay. <laughs> All right. Should we do a base coat? No. All right. So I'm just going to show you. You can see all the air bubbles in there. I don't know if you can see it very well in the camera, but um, it is already getting cells in there. That's from so many air bubbles. And it took me a while to figure out why I was getting certain pinholes in my painting. And I was like, ah, that happens when I mix and then paint immediately after. So now it's my rule that I mix ahead of time and then use the paint like the next day. So I'm just going to add a little more paint to this bowl. I only need about five ounces of paint for this little canvas. I can't remember what happened here to cause this disaster, but let's mm -hmm. go ahead. We'll try a tree ring, which will be the most <laughs> interesting with all these cells, I think. This is a pretty color combo, though. It is. My favorite colors. Whoa. Can you guys see all that? It's oh, yeah. so far away. Oh, let me try so to zoom in. So far away. Look how my husband sings a line for a song, no matter what I say. So far away. Okay, hold on. Okay, that's a little better, yeah? I'll move it this way, out of the glare. Okay. Check that out. See all those cells? This is an 8 by 10. Sorry, guys. So, I actually did a video one time on can air bubbles cause cells? And the answer was, of course, yes. But of course, of course. You want to wreck it? Let's wreck it. Wreck yeah. It, wreck it, bro. All right, I'm, I have sticks somewhere here. Let's use this sticks thing. Sticks and stones. Yeah. That's just crazy talk. I know, right? Woo, that's the craziest that's wreck like, I've ever done. Well, that also looks almost like a string pull flower there in the middle. I'm sure you're about to just kill it, but. Yeah, I'm going to murder it. That looks like a bird's face. So I'll take you down, uh, after I tilt, I'll take you guys down for a close-up so you can see all those pinholes that I'm talking about. It's definitely, it's not a bad thing. I just prefer to be able to control my paint as much as possible. And those pinholes don't give me control, if that makes sense. That's why I generally don't use the silicone, because I can't really control what the heck the silicone is going to do, you know? Oh, yeah. Johnny Farrow does have his own YouTube channel. So y'all should check that out. Maybe, um, <laughs> maybe, um, Veronica? Judy or Veronica can grab, uh, the link for that. Okay. We have a request to sing maybe just like one bar. What is that? Does that make sense? Of Unsteady. Unsteady. Next ambassadors. Don't know. Oh. I don't know that one. Well, oh, yeah. I've, I've never sung that before. No. Okay. It's not the kind of song I would just do. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I tried. But I will keep it in mind for next time or perhaps a video on my channel, which we're getting the link to. Also, um, I have an album coming out. Yeah. There's a pre-order up at johnnyfair.com. <laughs> By all means, please go and indulge. It's going to be epic. My first solo release in eight years. Okay, guys. Camera's going to shake for just a second. I'm going to um, just give you guys a close-up here. I like the way that came out. Oh, I love it. I, this actually looks amazing. Yeah. So there's but, a such thing as a good accident. Can you guys see all those little white dots? So those, I have noticed, come up when you pour right after mixing your paint. Especially in the bottles where you're going to get so many air bubbles. This is still awesome, though. But that is also a way that you can get some more cells. It's just going to give you lots of little ones. Look at this awesome lacing over here. 
I like that. Yeah. So. Doo -doo -doo. All right, Gina said, do you do any blowouts? I would need you to define that for me before I could answer. I'm not totally sure. Okay, put the camera back. Close your eyes. Gonna shake. Still need a new <coughs> tripod. Glue this one back together. Oh yeah, don't you know? <clears throat> yeah, I was thinking maybe she was saying a Dutch pour. Blow dryer. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've done quite a few. Uh, if you search mixed media girl hair dryer <laughs> on YouTube, that will pull up quite a bit. So yeah, you can torch this. Absolutely, if you want, it'll just give you even more pinholes probably. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to let it be. You definitely don't need to torch it. The air bubbles will pop themselves. And I'm very happy with how that looks. Yeah, me too. So I'm nice going to nice move it. Oh, thank you. You need help? No, I'm good. Okay. There's other people that need to get their paintings out of my studio. Right. <clears throat> All right, so I was thinking now that we had a fun paint mixing party and we're not going to be using that paint, let's do um, a painting with some of our pre-mixed. Oh, yeah. So let's use the Arteza. What technique would you like to do? Who, me? Yeah, you. Who? Yeah. Um, like who? Okay. Um, this is a 12 by 12 canvas. And if y'all want to know why I have this parchment paper here, it's because I made the grievous, is that a word, grievous? Error of using glitter on my silicone mat. Can you see all that? Oh, it's on the silicone mat. Yeah, so it is stuck there. I mean, I will be able to get it off, but it's going to take some work. What about a strainer for? You want to do a strainer pour? Or, or a syringe pour. I haven't done those in those a long time. You always go for the more complicated ones. Well, because I ain't all about boring. <laughs> a funnel. Hey, a Kathy. syringe into a funnel. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right, Kent's mom said, does parchment paper need make it so you don't need supports to raise the painting? You don't ever need supports to raise the painting to be honest um if you want the important point would be to raise it while it's drying but for for pouring it doesn't it doesn't make any difference whatsoever if you raise it or not <laughs> okay um all right let's see but if you are going to raise it raise it well we have a couple votes for Funnel, we have a toilet paper skewer pour vote, we have Ooh. a Dutch pour. You could do it. Do we have the stuff for a skewer pour? That could be fun. <laughs> have we ever done one of those live? Uh, no, but those take some prep. Like, Literally. we need to go get a toilet paper roll and then we need to find the skewers. Well, all right, I'm vetoing that. You know, whatever. Okay, so start by picking out some paints. Hmm, where's the purple? Uh, yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah. Well, hold on. This isn't the only box. But just make sure they all say the Arteza pouring colors. We're using the um, Arteza pouring paints. Oh, there's my Kimberly box. I feel like it was over here. So, hold on. Oh, wait. There's more. I don't know. I'm just going to see what he has on the end. All right. That's what I said. But wait, there's more. Hey. Uh, hey. Sink strainer. Ooh, lavender. Didn't you vote for a strainer pour? Me? Yeah. Yes, I did. Okay, I think that that could work. I definitely have a strainer. Um I like this one. Okay. And this should have some one of these has blue. Yeah, I got a blue. Oh, we got blue. Okay. Yeah. And then you have white? Let's get a white. I, got, I have two lavenders somewhere. Two lavenders. All right, here's a white. And, ooh, shake that. Shake it back. Should we have some yellow? 
No. No? What is with you in yellow? I don't like yellow. Okay, green. Fine. Fine. More of a teal than a green. Your face is a teal. Actually, it could be if you want it to be. What about, oh, you got coral? Yep. Okay. Beats to it. Uh, anything else? Or, no. no. Red? Green? It's just a like tiny nothing. bit of that one. Let me yeah. check in here. Nope. I use all the neons like immediately. <laughs> all right. Hopefully that's enough paint though. Silver. Um, sure. We have gold, but not silver. Actually, not copper. Ooh, neon green. Uh, oh, so why not? Please. <laughs> please. I said please. I said Kay. okay. <laughs> Don't be questioning me. Okay, so you start unscrewing these, make sure they're open, especially the ones that are brand new. And I will find a stringer. Okay. I will find you. Okay. Please hold, everybody. Please hold. Your call is very important to us. I have just reorganized like my whole studio, so I don't know where anything is right now, but I think I can find a strainer. Um, I wish I'd get that other lavender. There's not much in there. If you were to get a tattoo today, what would it be? Me? Yeah. I would get a purple print symbol with a white dove on top of it with the words, nothing compares wrapped around the symbol. Well, that was a very immediate descriptive answer. I planned it years ago. Oh. need to get the moolah and to get the buffalo and see my artist. Oh, well, good job. <laughs> good question. Good question. Okay. So, are we doing this? Do you want to do it as clean or a dirty pour? I vote dirty. I'm with you on dirty. Okay. Yep, yeah, no comments. Yeah. Yep, yeah, nope. <laughs> just leave it at that. Yep. Yeah. You went All dirty. Right. So, let me just get another bowl ready and guys if you have not Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> if you have not picked up the um lowly vefe silicone bowls yet and mats oh wow <laughs> i really highly recommend it it's a spotted mixed media girl my husband just splattered paint all over me um me too it wasn't just you yeah well okay <laughs> all right i'm gonna get started oh that one's not open yet okay let's start with lavender What to tattoo would I get? That's a good question. I have not given it all that thought. So I'm putting the purples in first because we absolutely want the purples. Yeah, we do. So those will come out last. Oh, yeah. This is the neon purple. It's almost empty. Oh, yeah. Don't you know? Tracy, do you mean like a base coat? Do I put a base coat on it? Um, if so, the answer is rarely. I'm not lazy, but I'm sort of lazy. And that's kind of an extra step. So let's see what neon blue. Hey Tara. Um, I don't have specific plans to get another tattoo right now, but I'm sure we will. Mm, oh, that's happening. Neon green. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is going to be interesting. A long pour. All right, I like this green. Putting Get another in there. cake batter. Get in there. Dash and leave the top out. Oh, it's loose. <laughs> All right. Um... Oh, it looks like Yoshi the dinosaur just smiling at us. Um, Jan, my next class is in Texas, and that one's already full per the, like, Texas regulations currently of how many people we can have or not have. Uh, but I am working on doing an online one, and that should be done really, really, really soon. It's pretty much 99% should be done by the end of this month, hopefully. Like, before the end of this month. So, that's my goal. 
You're a little crazy with that green over there, girl. I like it, boy. <laughs> wow, we hardly use any white, but we did use a lot of light colors. True. Let's go ahead and we'll put down some... That's a lot of paint. <clears throat> yep. We have plenty of paint. I don't think we need a base color. Wait, no? Okay. All right, I think you should pour it. Ooh, you are pour. more uninhibited than I am with that. Factual. Okay, go ahead. Thank you, Tara. Yeah, so online class is coming out, and then I am working on a SoCal class in the fall. Well, that Ooh. just escalated quickly. <laughs> we definitely put a lot of green in there. Yeah. <laughs> that's the color we use often. That's all right. Okay, let's let I'm it. I'm liking the coral highlights here. Yeah, right? <laughs> let's let it drain for a minute here. Let it glide. Okay. Come on, nobody gets the hoodie reference? Yeah. All right, do you want to do the tilting honors as well? Okay. I have to ask me twice. Um, I am working on an East Coast class as well. The thing is, is it's not very easy to book um, a place wow, um, across the country. So I have Judy is in New York. New York. And my uh, one of my other moderators, Tina, is in Florida. Wow, that's interesting. All right. So we've been working on those two locations. But of course, with COVID, the world kind of came to an end. The cove. Oh, there's still purple in there. Yeah, there is. Actually, it's really nice the way it's highlighting. I like that. What do you think? I don't know how I feel about that. It's very weird. And there's a dodo face right there, or a duck <laughs> or a platypus, one of the two. Looking out of this purple green flower thing. So this is the Arteza pre-mixed paint. We didn't put anything else in it. It's just right out of the bottle. You pour it in there. Is it just me or does it seem like this thinner than the uh, other pre mixed paint? It is, it is, well, this is definitely thinner than the Artist Loft yeah. ready mix paint. Much yeah. thinner. Yeah. Um, and it's a little bit thinner than my usual mix. Yeah. But I still love it, especially for. Say, it seemed like it took it poured off fast. Yeah. No, that was just you. Oh, right. <laughs> you usually yell at me for being too slow when I pour it. I was trying uh -huh. to do better. Uh -huh. Trying to learn. All right. I'm going to take the camera off and do the close-up, so it's going to shake. Everybody close your eyes. There we go. Oh, yay, Jennifer. I did ship those separately, <laughs> so that's good. I'm glad you got those fast. Um, North Carolina, I would love to do. This is, it's not that easy, you guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Getting, think about all the logistics of booking the place. The paintings have to be able to stay there and dry for a couple days. You have to get all the materials there. It's it's a lot of logistics. So it's not that I would not love to go all over the world. Um, and you know, at some point we might just get a tour bus and just load it up and Word. do a whole mobile workshop. Let's do it next week. Next week. <laughs> right. Well, we could if we had the vehicle, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see, but there's definitely purple in there. We did not have a lot of the neon purple, so it was mostly lavender. Yeah, but I, like, I kind of like that. It's, this is definitely different from the used, but it's yeah. good. I think it's good. This is the Johnny Peacock painting. This is my favorite part right here. Don't ask me why, it just is. Yes, Christina! If you have a place to do a workshop, I will be there. <laughs> So guys, that's the other thing. If you guys have a place that you can book a workshop and you have 10, 15 friends that would like to come, I will absolutely make it out there. We'll be there. It's just the the booking it from across the country and stuff is just quite difficult. Yeah, it would be amazing if I got a sponsor to give me a bus. Heck yeah. <laughs> I need to get to work on that. Oh, really? Come on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just slacking off. I know. Um, this is this is this is uh this is our future. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep up with the darn cups, you guys. <laughs> right. Oh man. 
time. Which, by the way, I don't have the sample yet, but I will by tomorrow. New cup design is coming out Ooh, dun, dun, dun. very soon. It's very exciting. It's epic. And we're just trying to keep up with production. I would love to go to Australia. Absolutely. Good day, mate. It's on my list. I would love to go to Melbourne. I know. Is that like in the middle? Where is it? I don't know. It came from a land down under. <laughs> land down under. Okay, you guys. Need some Vegemite? No, I don't think I'll be having a Vegemite sandwich. Um, but thank you so, so, so much for joining me. Um, I'll answer one more question real quick. Uh, Jill said, do you resin the piece when dry? I mostly do not resin my pieces. Um, but occasionally I do. It just depends on how I feel. Some pieces I feel like they really would benefit from the extra depth of the resin, but most pieces I do not. All right. Have a fantastic rest of your week. I hope you guys all had an amazing 4th of July, by the way. Happy Independence Day for those in the U.S. And I will see y'all later. Peace.